All right, we're down here. Let's go. Our friends here in the village just called, and apparently we are going to go catch some snails. Now, you may know in Vietnam they love to eat out, which are snails from the ocean. But up here in the mountains, obviously we're not near the ocean, and so we eat freshwater snails. So we're gonna go catch some freshwater snails, and then tonight I think we are going to no, and we're gonna eat what we caught. Well, apparently I need an, a headlamp. I don't know why I need a headlamp, but I guess we're going somewhere dark, and uh, I'm supposed to have big boots. Well, I don't have boots. So I don't know if we're gonna be wading in some like nasty water or what, but I'm kind of curious to see what's about to happen. Jaem, sit my. Oh, that's where we're going. Oh, that's <laughs> I got one. Basically, you have to put your hand down into the water. Like deep, not into the water, into the mud. We're back at my in-laws house where we caught the clams was maybe two kilometers or so from here, but it's the same water that runs through my in-laws house property. So it runs from here all the way down and then it goes down into that like cave thing and that's where we caught the clams and the snails. So now we're back at my in-laws house. It's raining, it's kind of a gloomy, afternoon we are going to clean the cl clams and snails we're going to cook them boil them and then we're going to do a few different things with them we're going to chop them up um, for rice porridge and then we're going to fry some of them up so we're just kind of hanging out and getting ready to eat using these like little tiny barbecue coal boxes to barbecue food. They do that a lot here. It kind of makes you wonder why we have to always have these massive like big backyard barbecues at home to barbecue. You can barbecue for a whole family easy with one of these little things. They work really, really well. All right, we'll take a piece of beef. We'll take some herbs here from the garden. And we will take some rice wine. Can I? Can I? I can I? Yeah. 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 Mm. Oh, he did that first. <laughs> Basically what we have here, we have chow, which is rice porridge. And it's kind of like a chow buffet. So we've got like um, sauteed green onions, mushrooms, and then of course the sauteed freshwater clams that we went to the cave thing and got today. All right, sorry. I've been I've had already like 15 shots of that rice wine, so I'm a little bit a little bit drunk, but that's okay. So we have the chow here. We're just going to taste it. I'm kind of curious what the texture of those clams is going to be like. So let me see. Mm. The clams almost have kind of a like a really savory flavor. Obviously, they don't have the salt water taste that normal clams have. It doesn't have like the gumminess that like a clam would have. It has a really like meaty 
texture. Oh, that's actually really good. Ian did a really good job cleaning and cooking those. Um, let's try a, a bite with the mushrooms. Mm. Oh, mushrooms are awesome. Seriously, this dish is just packed with umami. It really is. Those freshwater clams, the texture, the soy sauce, the, the mushrooms, the um, it's just an umami blast. Mm. All right, things just took a little bit of a weird turn. That's okay. Um, we finished eating dinner and my father-in-law busted out some new homemade liquor really really dark so Ian was asking me what's in it and I was like trying to guess the different flavors um, but I couldn't get it apparently they take a massive huge snake from the forest and cut it up every part the insides the meat the um, the scales and everything and they boil it until they get this like very condensed like jelly kind of and then they use that to flavor um, the liquor boy Oh. So we have three little puppies. How old are they? Five days old. Can I pick one up? Yes. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> That's so cute. They don't even know what's going on. <laughs>